So you're thinking of moving to Brantford. Welcome, my name is Joanne Ackery. I'm a local realtor here in Brantford. And today we're gonna check out the Greenbrier and Briar Park area, which is located in the north end of Brantford. So let's hop into my computer and I can show you more. If you like what you see and want more information, please like and subscribe for the latest and greatest. And I'd love to help you with your search. So it's basically along Powerline Road, Road North, uh, Fairview, and then up King George Road. So this is all um, tucked away in the north end. So King George Road, as you'll notice, it's a nice um, popular area with lots of shops, restaurants, amenities. So you've got lots of businesses. Um, so you're close to everything here, as well as Fairview Drive. You have lots of businesses, and restaurants, shops here as well. And then Park Road North, you don't have as many, but you have them as well. So you're close to all the things you need without going too far. Um, within the area, you'll notice that all these green spaces are parks. So you can see Briar Park, uh, Cedarland Park, there's uh, Green Briar Park, uh, Forestwood Park, Royal Oaks Park, Wilkes Park, did I say Centennial, Cameron Heights, like you're surrounded by numerous parks. So you can get out, be active, have fun with your kids, your family, your dog, um, and enjoy the outdoors. And then there's obviously um, trails tucked away in these neighborhoods. Um, for schools, you'll see um, you've got Greenbrier Public School, um, you've got St. Leo's School, where's the other? Resurrection. So these two, St. Leo's and Resurrection, those are your, both of your Catholic elementary schools. You've got Cedarland Public School, Briar Park Public School, um, you've got another um, Centennial Public School, and I already mentioned Greenbrier Public School. So if you'll notice, they're all in very close proximity to the neighborhood, so all of them are walking distance for your families to get to school. Um, and then if you have kids in high school, you've also got, you can see North Park down here. And then it's out of the way, but uh, St. John's College is uh, towards this way, like I guess um, southwest slightly, but it's honestly, it's not too far. So uh, you've got, you're surrounded by really great schools here. Um, for shopping, you've got, it's not marked here where this world gym is. You've got the Linden Park Mall. In here, they're gonna be building a Costco, which is awesome. So they've already uh, leveled the land and they're starting to develop it. So it should be up and coming uh, very soon. They've been talking about it for decades. Uh, anyways, so that's there. Um, for your groceries, you've got a Zares down here um, and you've got another Zares up in this um, shopping plaza here. It's, it's, I guess it's more like one of those Walmart super centers because I wouldn't really call it a plaza. It's got a lot of, um, shops here so for groceries you've got another Zares there and then food basics here um so the Zares if you're not familiar with it that's kind of like your Portino's Loblaws you know where you get your decorative parsley so um if you're looking for more than just the basics and um all the finishes it's in there they've also got Joe Fresh um you've got your Walmart obviously you can see that there's Galaxy Cinemas there's also um Eastside Mario's and a few other really good restaurants in here you've got businesses banks uh, CAA is in here you've got some uh, clothing shops so you've got lots of great amenities right within this neighborhood um, it's only landmarking one restaurant so I'll point it out Xander's this is a really great local restaurant um, it's an independently owned restaurant so it's not one of those franchises you're not gonna find it anywhere else uh, they do live music really great food great selection I even asked them once to make me baklava because um, I think I ordered something Greek themed and they actually whipped up the like the wasn't on their menu but they whipped it up so I was quite impressed with that um, and then you can't see because they're not marked here but there's there's other great restaurants here uh, there's also if you're into shoes there's Al's um, shoes which is you're only gonna find it here in Brantford hundreds of shoes to choose from so if you're into shoes that's the place to shop what else can I tell you about this area uh, there, there's gyms tucked around here too. Like they're obviously showing the world gym. There's my body gym that's not far away. Um, so if you want to get your workout on, they're all here as well. Um, 
and then power line road as you can see it's green so more agricultural i'm heading like north i guess northeast here there's brantwood farms it's just tucked you can't quite see it but it's just tucked here so um they have a really big apple orchard they grow other fruits as well um, and then they do different themed events that are family friendly so great to get out so you don't have to drive anywhere you can stay right within your community almost walking distance um, they offer the haunted hayride around halloween they they do a christmas themed family event like just all throughout the year they create something so it's nice to have something very close by um oh, i'll point out this park as well jc park uh, so this actually has a skateboarding park which is kind of cool for the kids so you know they like to get out and stay active so it's nice that they have that and um the ramps i don't skateboard but they have little ramps and jumps and that sort of stuff so they can have fun there um so that's good too and then what else um and most of these homes were built in the 60s the latest are probably about the 90s so um, it's a developed, established community. Everyone quite enjoys it. Um, and you're very close to the highway access as well. You're about like five minutes, not even. Um, so going east this way to Toronto, you are about an hour and a half without traffic. And then you've got London going west here. Um, and then the beach towns are obviously down south. So you've got Port Dover, um, Turkey Point. So if you wanted to do that as well. Um, so you're in a nice central location and you're in the north location of Brantford, so you're closer to the highway. So I know there's a lot of people that are moving here from the GTA, so that's that's what makes this area really desired for people as well. And I, I'm not sure if I mentioned already, there's a mix of um, single detached homes, um, townhouses, um, a lot of them are bricks, so nice solid quality built homes and, and they've got um, and it, well, you can see great parks, great neighborhoods, schools, so it's a nice family-friendly neighborhood. So um, thank you for joining me today. If you would like to hear more, please hit like and subscribe um, and check out my um, video tour. I did a video tour of the Greenbrier area so you can see some of the houses um, and hope to see you around. Bye for now.